my name is Kevin Mo. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering here at the University of California, Davis. Um, so um, we've been very fortunate to have gotten a seed grant from uh, Citrus about two years ago. And the focus of that project was to develop a um, spatially distributed sensor in which we can mount them onto various types of structures like bridges to detect damage occurring at different uh, locations and then combine that with you know, wireless data acquisition and communication capability for, for monitoring damage. So the idea here is that we want to take advantage of the unique properties offered by uh, this material known as carbon nanotubes. But what we can do actually here is that we could use a variety of different techniques to begin to uh, excite or sonicate this material to separate these carbon nanotubes such that they remain suspended in the solution itself. This particular material is actually sensitive to deformation and strain in the sense that if we were to pull on it or push on it, the electrical properties will change in tandem to how much deformation that we apply to it. So meaning that if we simply monitor or measure how much the electrical properties change, we could actually back out and figure out how much strain or deformation is occurring in the structure itself. One of the most important things we do in the lab is trying to get the resistivities of our thin films. So uh, what we do is that after we fabricated our thin films, either using the layer by layer technique or the spray technique that you just seen, um, just like that, we're going to cut them into small pieces like this and put them into a low frame over there and uh, to apply a load onto them at a constant strain rate. So. Um, at the same time, uh, we're going to measure the strain change as well as the resistivity change of the thin film. I'm Brian Loyola. I'm a PhD candidate here in the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering at UC Davis. And so what, ha what some of the research I've done is subjected some of these panels to impact and then take an electrical impedance tomography image and then um, recorded the change in conductivity before and after the um, impact event. And then we can see as we increase the amount of impact energy, we actually get a higher, um, higher and higher response um, from the embedded films themselves. And so the damage isn't visible outside of the composite for um, the 20 joules and 60 joule impact. But when you get to 120 joules, um, you can actually start seeing impact, on, uh, impact damage on the backside of the specimen itself. And that is also captured by um, the EIT uh, method. I'm Valeria Lassaponara. I'm an associate professor of mechanical and aerospace engineering, and I'm working with uh, Dr. Kendall from civil engineering on the project. Uh, it started as a C3C grant and went into an NSF grant that we're very happy about. One of the things that eventually we're going to look at um, is the effect of uh, hydraulic fluid and anti-acing additive on composite structures. Composite structures can be used for aerospace applications, for wind turbine blades, and in my group, we already have quantified the amount of damage that you get when you have hydraulic fluid um, exposed to aircraft structures. And this is something that is also important for wind turbine blades because the shaft um, where the blades are attached is a metal shaft that is going to uh, operate uh, using uh, hydraulic fluid. And so you're going to have fluid leaks uh, into the composite blade and the composite blade is going to lose its uh, stiffness and it's going to possibly fall off and fly several hundred meters uh, away in the fields. So uh, we are going to, uh, we are applying for seed grants and we are trying to um, have this project funded and uh, I think there is a lot of potential benefit because we are going to make safer structural adhesives that can be used for a variety of applications and this is something that is going to affect everybody's uh, safety.